Hi guys. Um, I'm going to do one of those circular pours uh, with my split cup. It's a five compartment split cup. And I layered it. I, I wasn't sure how to layer it. So I did three compartments. This one, this one, and this one with my blues, my red, my purple. Or my blue, my copper, and my purple. And then I added a little bit of red in this slot. These two I stayed with gold and two different shades of the copper, layering it back and forth. Then I covered my canvas. I didn't have any black. And this does have some satin enamel in it, so I'm a little bit worried about that. But um, I really wanted to use this paint up. So we're going to see. Um, I did a, a previous one that I didn't put on video. Um, and I started from the center and worked my way out. And I did not like the results. Um, I had to kind of stretch it. And as I stretched the center um, to, to knock some of the paint off, I just distorted the whole design. I mean, you can still see the swirl, but you can't see that, like, um, reptilian look where it's like different colors that are blended and broken. And Anyway, so I was unhappy with that. So I'm going to go from the, um, let's see how I died, from the outside to the inside like I did before. Unfortunately, you don't get, the pattern is harder to maintain. Um, because you're trying to do a perfect certain, you know, consecutive circle. So, anyway, we'll have to see. Um, my cup's about three quarters full. This is a 16 ounce cup and this is a 12 by 12 canvas. So, okay, um, let's start here. See, I almost get that harsh corner curve as opposed to a nice round look. Oh, I'm liking the way I layered this cut this time much better. So I think that's going to be, at least for me, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to do couple of compartments layered with the lighter colors the same and then use the other compartments for kind of the accents so that as you're doing this process you're moving from one set of colors to another but you're still getting a blend Yeah. And this is the part that's hard. All right. Well, I like that so much better. I really would like the walls to touch, but anyway, yeah, that's so, so much better. I'm still wasting a lot of paint, though. I still got about a quarter of a cup. Oh shoot, I forgot to put my hair up. Um, a quarter of a cup that is being wasted. But this is the best way to come from the outside and work your way in. Because as I stretch this now, it's going to stretch the pattern. Um, well, I'll have to show you what I'm talking about. Let's see. Let's take this turntable off. And the other the one that I did previous to this that I didn't I didn't show you all. Um, I also did not take the, 
the back of my canvas. I got lazy um, and I regret it because the underneath side is not clean anymore. <laughs> not think that um, that it would get really dirty up under there but as you're wiping the paint off the edges you're pushing it out actually underneath and yeah cause some problems see this pattern that's what I love about the split cut and then when you're turning it you're getting this to me it looks reptilian or something to that effect. It's this scaly kind of effect and, and I love that. It's still not round but oh well there's only so much a person can do. My edges aren't done and I'm probably going to have to get a paintbrush. But let me bring you in. To show you what I'm talking about see that how it like breaks it into little little sections that's between the swirling and the breaks in the cup itself and I love that look I just absolutely love it so anyway and here's the outside and I am going to stretch this but I love the way the colors progress and change as it starts to swirl so I'm going to layer my cups like that from now on. Okay, now we're just going to put you back. And I'm going to stretch this. used to having my little tacks to hold on to and I have nothing to hold on to <laughs> with this. It makes it a little rough. Let's see. Maybe I can pour it off so it rounds it up a little bit. See how you need that paint underneath. First of all to fill in where you're not you're not able to to connect the paint but also um, for this paint to, to glide over something so it doesn't fold over itself and and ruin your pattern. Oh I think these are so cool. have nothing to hold on to. All right. And you do not want to swirl this. If you swirl it, you break up the pattern. And um, you can actually eliminate the pattern. You don't want that. The whole point of it is for the pattern. So be careful when you're stretching. But you do have to pour some of this paint off. At least I do because I know I used a lot. I'd really like to be able to get this like just perfectly round and uh, and tight in the center but I don't know if that's possible with poor painting. I'm trying to open that center up a little bit because the the pattern's beautiful and the colors just they, um, they progress from one to the next in a beautiful way. And this is my only second, only my second time using these pour cups. And so there is 
some learning to be done. And I know what I want in my head. It's just making the paint do it. I think this is beautiful and I love the colors and the pattern. I am going to have to take something and get the canvas covered because my corners are completely uncovered. But let me wash my hands and I'll torch it and bring you in. All right, I haven't torched it yet. Maybe I should do that. Um, I covered my corners with the paint. And the cool thing is it actually maintained that separation of color. In that corner, not so much. <laughs> well, I mean, it did, but I didn't cover up all that dark blue, and that's fine. See how it... So, well, that one needs a little bit more. I'll do it with a spoon. It worked better. Anyway, so let me show you this little masterpiece. I want you to see how see how that it's almost reptilian that at least that's what it looks like to me it's all these subtle changes in the colors by being able to separate them but pour them at the same time so i'm definitely going to use that technique of doing three of one two of the other or you know, you can you can switch between, um, but I just think this is gorgeous. I love, love, love the pattern and I love the colors. Unfortunately, the only thing I don't love about it is that I don't have that concentric circle, but I still think it's pretty cool. Okay, well, please like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Hey, if you have any tips, let me know that too. This is um, only my second time, and I'm sure there's a learning curve. All right, see you next time. Bye-bye.